there is the home panel on my Chromecast with Google TV. All right, today's video is gonna be a simple, short tutorial. Now, as many of you may know, a few weeks ago, I got the new Google TV streamer 4K, which is uh, this little streaming device here. One of the greatest things about the device is just how it works. So turn on my TV here. So one of the best features is this little star button. And when I click that button, it brings up what's called the Google Home panel. Now from this Google Home panel, I can of course control my lights, turn them on or off, etc. And uh, to me, that's just one of the coolest features of this Google TV streamer 4K. Now, if you have a regular Google Chromecast like I have here in my living room, then you don't have that feature yet. You know, one of those. So what we're gonna do is, is show you how to get the Google Home panel on your Chromecast with Google TV. Now let me explain that this is kind of a way to access this early because the feature is coming to Chromecast with Google TV, it's just not fully there yet. So if you follow these steps, this is how you can add the home panel to your Chromecast with Google TV. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. Let me show you how to do this. So this is one of the first steps. Open up your Google Home app, go to your settings, and on your settings, scroll down here to public preview and uh, you want to join the public preview. That's kind of step one. As I mentioned, in a while, you won't have to do this. So now I'm in the public preview. Now we will go across the top to our settings gear here. We'll click on all settings. All right, once you're in all settings, navigate down to apps, see all apps, and then show system apps. Now we want to find Google TV, which it's all alphabetized, so it should be pretty easy. There we go. Google TV. Select Google TV and select clear data, and then select four stop. Now once you get back to this all app screen, go to ambient mode, clear the data from ambient mode as well. We will four stop on ambient mode as well. And then when we go back, we should either, whoop, well, we should either just see it up here in the top right, or we'll have to wait a few minutes. Let's see what happens. It's all reloading everything. There we go. And so now if I go up here, and so as of now, I don't see it. So Google says to just wait 15 minutes. So uh, it's 9-11, let's give it 15 minutes and see if that works. And then it should just show up here. So after doing all that, I did come across this update. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this update just to make sure everything works as it should. Download, let this do its thing. There we go, restart now. Android system update restarting. So now, if I go over here, there it is. Google Home, Home Panel, save, and there we go. Now, like if I go to widescreen, go to lights, turn off the recording lights, and you'll see these over here cut off, or I can cut them off. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. There is the Home Panel on my Chromecast with Google TV. All right, and so there you have it. That is how you would add the Google Home Home Panel to a Google Chromecast TV 4K, or even the HD, it should work on that one as well. Just follow those steps to get into the live preview, follow the couple steps to clear the data on your device. You may or may not have to wait that 15 minutes, and then bada bing, your Chromecast with Google TV now has the Home Panel. You're welcome. Google did release this information out to everybody, but I know a lot of times seeing a video just helps. So that's why I made this. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Hope you're all staying positive. Click like, click subscribe. Indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.